to model kit stuff um, and this morning I wanted to just produce a little video to introduce you to my next um, in-between project build. Um, so it tends to be little small kits that I can pick up um, in between glue drying, paint drying, so on and so forth when I'm working on a bigger project. So this is my next one, it's um, ICM's uh, model of the Heinkel HE 51B-2 which they describe as a German float plane fighter uh, but reality these aircraft were used by um, the Kriegsmarine um, as the um, aircraft that they put on their warships. So um, before they, um, they, they were typically employed between 33 and 36 um, uh, and then obviously they were um, replaced then with the Aridos, um, which, which became familiar during the war years. So um, it's a, a 172 scale kit and they also do um, a, a land based version which I've also got but I quite fancy doing the float plane, it's something a little bit different. Um, the, it's the standard um, ICM affair where you get a nice top loading box, good quality box um, with a, a separate, uh, separate lid. Um, on the sides there, just a little bit of information about the plane, a uh, picture of the, the finished aircraft on that side. Um, and then this bit I found quite interesting here, um, it says for 14 plus, now usually you only put that on a kit if you've included photo etch, and there isn't any photo etch in this. So if you think about an airfix kit, all airfix kits pretty much say from eight years and above, and because they do that, that's why they tend not to put photo etching. If you put photo etching in the kit, then because of the, the sharp edges, that you have to say it's 14 plus. So I think that is more their standard age they've just put on and they've not really given it much thought, but I would certainly say this kit would be um, approachable by someone younger um, with a little bit of modeling experience. Right, so let's have a look at what's in the box. So there we go, we have a set of instructions, um, a separate sheet to deal with the painting, um, a decal sheet which didn't have backing paper, the little um, um, rolled up piece of um, bag there has um, a cellophane windscreen in which I'll, I'll show you in a minute, and then two sprues. So the sprue on the left here is just dealing with the floats and, and it's a different colour so you can see it's a later edition. Um, and then here is the, the aircraft kit itself. So um, let's just have a look at these uh, a little bit more closely. So um, instructions, they're in two languages, um, Russian or Lithuanian I think, um, and then in, in English. You've got a picture um, depicting the parts and which ones are not being used, which are to do with the landing gear that won't be deployed because you're using the floats. And then you've got the usual um, key there to what things mean in, in, within the instructions. Okay, and then um, if we go to the back page there, you've got um, a list of paints, quite a long list of paints for such a small um, aircraft. Uh, and, and the usual warnings, which if you're a new modeler, you absolutely should be reading. And then that looks like a rigging plan. So the red is rigging that you will have to add that's not supplied in the kit. So that's an option uh, for more advanced modelers. I'm not sure whether I will bother give, given the size and that it's an in-between uh, in build project. Okay, inside we have basically well, it, it seems to say six steps, but I can't see where four or two is for that matter. I wonder if... Oh, that's interesting. So we have step one, step three, step five, step six. So I'm not sure where step two or step four are, whether they're missing. Okay, um, that's very interesting. Ah, sorry, step one, 
step two, step three, step four, step five, step six. That's not very clear. I'm probably going to draw a line <laughs> and, and divide that up a little bit. Okay, so uh, we've got, as usual with, with an aircraft, you've got cockpit to start with, uh, basic bucket seat, um, floor pan pedals, um, joystick. Um, there's no mention there of decals for the dials and having a look at the decal sheet I can't see that there is any so um, that's quite basic um, so there's not much going on in the way of detail in the cockpit then we have um, fuselage um, tail added um, exhaust components um, machine guns um, and the prop going on at this stage um, and then we build the floats wings going together at this point um, then we're flipping it over a couple of items to add which is like the radiator and the, the floats and then that completes your build so very easy very straightforward Let's have a look at the uh, painted instructions. So these are paint not in colour. Um, and what it gives you is an option there for black or green, I think. Um, and then it gives you the decal locations as well as the colour instructions. Um, and it tells you that this is the onboard plane of the cruiser Leipzig from 1936. Okay, and then if we flip it over, the other painting option um, is Haltenau Summer 1936. Um, so it looks like the colours are the same, although they've gone definitely black, no option on that one. So I'm guessing at different times in its life, the other one had different boat colours. So, um, um, it looks like the um, main colour is actually a mix of paints. So um, if we look at the paint instruction, there, see 50% pale grey, 50% black pool grey. Uh, and it's shouting out the model master paints there. Um, so, but it does give you the, the actual names so you could find alternatives easy enough. Okay, right, so um, fairly simple basic instruction set. Um, let's have a look at the floats first. So, um, yeah, so you've basically got two sides and a top section. Um, there's a little bit of detail there, but the floats have absolutely nothing on. So I would have expected panel lines and um, rivet detail, and there, there is absolutely nothing. So this is suggesting to me, if I, I'm also seeing a little bit of flash, that this is an older kit, maybe uh, one, of the, one of the earlier ICM kits. Let's have a look at this, the, the main screw. So we do have some detail there depicting the, the ribs and the fact that this is uh, probably um, a, a doped cloth cover rather than an aluminium cover. There are some panel lines there which are recessed and a few rivets which will come out quite nicely. Um, there's a a mark in the tail there, I'm not sure that that should be there. Um, wheels that we won't be using. Um, the prop looks fairly heavy, has the own cone, cone already on. Um, and then you've got the individual components that make up the exhaust system. So that's quite nice again, individual. I'll flip this over section nose cone um, there's a little bit of interior detail and there's no injection marks nearby so underpaint that won't look too bad actually 
Okay, and some quite heavy sink marks there. How well they'll be seen, I'm not sure, because I think the seat will go at that end. Uh, and then the wings are single pieces, so you're not having to put two pieces together, which has kept the part count low. So that's great in terms of clean up and, and easier to paint in some ways, um, but um, and it's got some nice detail there in terms of the, the texture of the ribs. But if you're wanting to rig the plane, it does make that a little bit more difficult because when you've got two, two halves of a wing section that you're putting together, you can drill a hole right the way through. Whereas this, you'd have to drill a, a hole part of the way through. Um, so yeah, I think it'd be more challenging to, to rig it. Um, the, the tails are also a single piece. Um, yeah, looking at it, I, I think this is an older kit. There is, um, yeah, it looks quite nice. Um, it's quite simple, very basic, I think quite an easy build. Um, we'll have to see what the fit's like. There are some tiny parts there, if I put my finger in, they're probably as small as they get. Those are the machine gun um, elements. So yeah, let's see how this builds up. So I'll be building this soon. Let's have a look at the decals. Um, fairly basic and you've got the main markings only um, the tail decal you will have to cut in half um, because you've got you're going over the complete tail including the, the, the movable uh, rudder um, the little cross hatch box there is for you to make your own swastika to go in the circle so you just cut the elements out that you don't want to make that um, sticker but there's no other markings there's no uh, warning signs or anything like that so f fairly basic I mean at 172 scale now you'd expect um, a, a few more decals maybe um, having said that carrier film looks nice and thin I don't know if the yeah there doesn't seem to be a lot of um, extra carrier film so it's going to really minimize any issues you might have uh, with silvering, the biggest issue will be around your letters and numbers. And then finally we have this rolled up piece of plastic bag, which if I can just open, you can just about see in there, there is an acetate. So that is to create the windscreen. Um, so that will look much more to scale than using um, a clear plastic part, but I think it would have been nice to maybe give us the option um, because some people might struggle with that, um, younger modelers, but uh, let's see. So there you go, that's my um, first impressions of ICM's Hanko HE 51B2, uh, which we'll be getting stuck into in, in a short while. Take care and I'll see you soon. If you want to see how this builds together, please subscribe.